Hey everyone, this is a bit more of a casual video that I wanted to make as I work on a very big 40 minute long review right now. This video is about a recent trend with superhero movies. This video is inspired by the fact that I saw Shazam! Fury of the Gods last week and it was not great. I mean, it's not the worst superhero movie I've seen, not even the worst one I've seen so far this year. Yes, I know it's only April, but it lacked a lot of the charm and fun energy that the first Shazam! had and just feels like a movie that should have come out a decade ago. This isn't really a review of Shazam 2 though, because I don't have that much to say about it. Except that it made me really want Skittles brand Skittles from Skittles Inc. for some reason. I think there might have been some subtle subliminal messaging in the movie. I don't know. No, what I really want to talk about is this idea going around now of superhero fatigue. This is in all the headlines now. Superhero fatigue. Ant-Man 3 Quantumania is showing really weak legs at the box office. Shazam 2 is looking to be a severe flop, and you can't really blame COVID for box office troubles anymore. Top Gun Maverick made a billion dollars, Avatar The Way of Water made two billion dollars, Puss in Boots The Last Wish has had some incredible box office longevity. Other action or comedy movies over the past couple months have been meeting or exceeding expectations, like Cocaine Bear or John Wick. The point is, people are going back to the movies, they just don't seem to be going back to these ones. And according to a lot of outlets, it's because people are tired of superhero movies. It's superhero fatigue. But I don't know if superhero fatigue describes what I'm feeling personally, at least. Because I'm still excited for a couple of superhero movies coming up, and I'm not even a really big comic book fan. I'm just excited to see the follow-up to Matt Reeves' The Batman. And more immediately, I'm planning to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 once it releases. I still want to see superhero movies. I just don't really care about... Blue Beetle, or The Marvels, or Secret Wars. Maybe Aquaman too. Okay, maybe not. Honestly, the very term superhero fatigue doesn't sit right with me. It's acting like the audience is a bunch of stupid idiots that are overfull on slop. It's not superhero fatigue, it's superhero apathy that's getting to me. Since 2019, it feels like the superhero products getting pushed to theaters are just content made for the sake of content. DC's quality control is all over the place, and the famed Marvel Cinematic Universe has been weighed down by approximately 14 movies and 500 series a year. I talked about this last year with my Eternals video, and having seen Black Panther 2 and Quantumania since then, my opinion hasn't really changed. Wakanda Forever did end up being my favorite Phase 4 Marvel product, but even then the most I can praise it for is that half of it felt like a real movie, where actors were in scenes and talked about their feelings. And then it turned into a sizzle reel for Avatar 2. The only Marvel series I've watched was Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and half of it felt like filler material, which is not great to say about a six episode long political thriller. It feels like a lot of these series and movies are being made out of a sense of obligation. It's not that I don't want to see superhero movies, it's that superhero movies aren't really anymore. Again, there are some exceptions to the trend, there's usually exceptions to any trend, but the trend is still there. I just don't care anymore. And it's starting to seem like a lot of people don't care anymore either. Quantumania had the largest second week drop of any MCU film. That means a lot of people, probably a lot of very devoted Marvel fans, crammed the theaters on opening day, and then the rest of the movie going public wasn't really that interested, so a lot fewer saw it. That kind of steep drop-off also tends to signal very poor word of mouth, and yeah, yeah, I can get that. This was supposed to be the start of Phase 5. This was supposed to be the start of the next big thing, and audiences aren't really showing up for it. It looks like it's just gonna barely make back its budget, and that's not where any studio really wants to be. As for Shazam 2, yeah, I don't think it's faring much better over there. Now, it can be tricky to compare these movies with previous ones, because I don't think Shazam and Ant-Man are as big ticket names as Wonder Woman or Thor. Maybe it's not fair to compare the financial performance of The Batman, starring one of the most popular superheroes of all time, with the financial performance of Black Adam, starring... Uh, Black Adam. So let's maybe compare these to another superhero movie that featured characters that audiences hadn't been familiar with. Bear in mind, this was in 2014 before the MCU was an unstoppable juggernaut. I didn't read comics. An 18-year-old Daniel thought this looked like the stupidest idea for a movie. And then I saw it, 
and I loved it. It was so cool. Then I rewatched it a few years ago, and I loved it. It was still so cool. I didn't give a shit about the Guardians of the Galaxy 10 years ago. 99% of people didn't give a shit about the Guardians of the Galaxy. But their movie was so good that it made me love them. And their movie was so good that it made a lot of money. And it had really good legs, too. People heard their friends like this movie and they saw it in its second or third or fourth week of release. People liked the movie and they came back to see it again. But now these movies are usually not very good. A Matt Reeves Batman is the exception now. Hell, getting a superhero movie as good as Wakanda Forever is an exception, and I think that movie's still like... what I give it? A 7 out of 10 on Letterboxd? I don't know, that might have been a little generous. A pretty great, but not astounding product. And I think this trend has cured me of my FOMO, my fear of missing out. Of course I went to see Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel, because they're going to have key information for upcoming movies I really, really want to see. These movies were also just fine, but I was willing to sit through a couple hours of these every four months to keep on top of the things I do care about, like Thor and the Guardians and the aftermath of Infinity War. I'm not going to sit through five hours of a Hawkeye show so I can watch Echo. It feels like now these studios are taking our viewership for granted. They've become apathetic about this whole thing. If we just make a superhero movie, it'll crack a billion dollars. It can be cliched, we don't need to tell a cool story, or have fun characters, or tell funny, fresh jokes. People will come, but we're not. Guardians 3 is the last Marvel movie I have any investment in seeing. And honestly, I'm looking forward to not having to care about the sprawling leviathan of a franchise anymore. I think superhero movies will still exist, and who knows, maybe there's some really good ones on the way. But they can't rest on their laurels anymore, and just assume they'll have a stranglehold on the market. This year, a lot of smaller movies have come out swinging and outperformed expectations. Hopefully this will be a wake-up call for superhero movies to sit down and make themselves good again. I want Matt Reeves' The Batman 2 to be this generation's Dark Knight. I want Marvel to jolt us back with something exciting again. Until then, I'll see you guys... I don't know, at the Mario movie, I guess. Wahoo!